Now, in spite of the rain, Bayou Boogaloo went on as planned today and wrapped up for the night about half an hour ago. WGNO's Rick Gogreve is there at Bayou St. John. Rick. Susie, the festival has an emergency storm plan that they, they say, thankfully, they didn't have to use today. Now, tomorrow and Sunday, they're hoping that they have the same luck. I can tell them myself that I'm all right. Many people woke up on Friday ready to take on the risk of getting wet at this year's Bayou Boogaloo. Well, well, like most threats, I'm the biggest one. The rain is stuck here with me. I, I'm not stuck here with the rain. So far, though, festival leaders say they've been fortunate not having to delay the Boogaloo at any point during day one. If there's severe weather or the threat, you know, safety first, we temporarily delay and then we get up going again as soon as possible. As for the weekend, the same turnout is expected with hundreds of residents already having purchased their weekend passes. I mean, the rain's not going to keep anybody away. Let's, let's be honest. Like, as we were just thinking, like, as soon as it clears up, we need to get out of the house. Let's get some fresh air. Let's go listen to some music, you know, support our local artists. Now the hope is for the weather to hold off for just a couple more days, giving guests an enjoyable festival. This is a real neighborhood event. A lot of our musicians are neighborhood. The food vendors are local restaurants. So everybody wants it to succeed. Now, if you want to come out and enjoy the festival this weekend, it will open up at 1130 on both Saturday and Sunday. Susie. Okay, might be a little muddy, but come on out. Thanks, Rick.